So we were all thrust into this push because we felt what we were doing was worthy. What, when you got up, you could do something important. And we had that feeling. Well, the thing I think, in my own case, uh, that made me politically sensitive, and I think pretty much the case of everyone around us at that time, was Hitler. We very much felt that not only what was happening in Germany was horror, but that he really was a present close threat to the United States. We really felt that. This threat of Hitler remained with us, and Mussolini too. When this thing happened in Spain, it was so dramatic, and it's tie-in with Hitler and Mussolini, and when they asked for help, We helped. We felt it was a just cause. We were doing a political theater in uh, the WPA. Uh, we were, everyone was very politically aware, it seemed to me, by this time. And uh, the, the, the Nazis had done it. I was asked to be in a play called Who Fights This Battle, which was done in a hotel ballroom, a hotel on 43rd Street, I think it was called the Embassy. It's no longer there. Paul Bowles did the music, uh, I was in it, uh, Losey directed it, Nick Ray was in it, and uh, it, it only ran for, it was written by a brilliant writer who died too young, Kenneth White, and uh, it only ran one performance, but it was to raise money for Spain. The, the main thing we did to raise money for Spain in the theater was uh, something called TAC, the Theater Arts Committee. The idea of TAC was to take a hall, which was in this case called the Firehouse over there on East 50 some Art Street, which had been a music hall for Krimsky and Cochran, who were two producers. And we were gonna go in there and do reviews the purpose of which was to raise money, cabarets, to raise money for Spain. Uh, I remember George Abbott routine the show. Robert Benchley was the first MC, master of ceremonies. The famous song Joe Hill was introduced there for the first time. I remember Lead Belly, his first appearance, getting out, making his first appearance after 12 years in jail. He got up there and sang. And we raised money, which we sent to help Spain. The great thing about that time, and as I often have said, we saw the best of it. And I do believe it was the best time. I know I sound like an old codger sitting in a chair in an actor's home talking about the best time but it was the best time. <laughs> and it was the best time because we were engaged. We were in ferment, we were hot. We felt what we were doing was important. We felt that the world would be better off for what we did. 